As you all know, I came back on Mr. Iron Bar to work on the Elf City goals, but Jagex has decided to release another pretty important update in the midst of this grind, and that is the Freemnik Exile quest. And the reward for it is the ability to get the Basilisk Jaw to make the new best in slot melee helmet. The nades is not face guard. So I must do the quest, which I will do now, and I do have the task ready. So we're gonna go ahead and kill some Basilisk Knights and uh, yeah, get ourselves a new best in slot item. This is a big deal, guys. This one is a universal best in slot. It's big. I can use this pretty much anywhere melee related when I'm not doing Slayer. So some good applications would be actually at Moss Giants. Yep, would really help there. And also at Corp, I want to try out some Corp with that helmet. That's going to be so nice. So I just got back home from TwitchCon and yeah, I've been away for about a week. And uh, during that time, the Basilisk Knights got buffed. So I never had the chance to do them when they were weaker. So yeah, they raised their HP, uh, made their stats a bit higher. And also added a new freeze mechanic, so yeah, the grind is going to be a bit harder than some of the, you know, people that had a better start, but it's alright. They don't look too hard, so we'll, we'll uh, see for ourselves. I should have brought my Slayer Helm, man. These things are counting towards my Slayer task, are you kidding me? No! <laughs> yeah, buddy. This boss wasn't too hard, huh? Pretty simple mechanics, but there goes the fight. I did Warhammer's back at twice, but yeah, didn't seem too tanky anyway, so. Yeah, buddy, completed the Freemanic Exile quest, and I can wear the quest cape again. I'm just kidding, because you know what? Never did <laughs> Xbox a spot, and I don't think I ever will, because I don't really need the quest cape nowadays, you know, so. Yeah. All right, so I'm not taking chances here. While I do already have this task prepped, I am going to uh, buy the ability to have the task bigger when I get it next time. So I'm going to do that. And also, there should be one where if I unlock the Basilocked, uh, the Konar Durdun Steve is going to give me the Basilisk task. So I'm going to do that. But yeah, for now, I think I'm going to rush a bit and then take it easy. Hopefully I get it soon. So my setup for Basilisk Knight is pretty straightforward, just max melee the whole thing. And uh, I have to use a Rapier because you can't fully spam the Scythe there, since you do need the Shield. The Brace of Slaughter, obviously, to maximize my task. Alright, so yeah, d claws are nasty here. I guess an SGS would work out really well as well. But man, they are kind of scary to try to offtake and do a special with a two-handed weapon. Because if you make one mistake, oh man, your stats just get drained. I tried earlier and oh my god, that just drained my stats instantly with one mess up all the way from like 120 to like 36. Oh man, that was bad. Oh yeah, good tip though that I learned from other people is having your auto retaliate on when they do the freezing thing because it thinks you're spam clicking when you have auto retaliate on so it makes the freeze uh, go away pretty fast with minimal effort. Alright guys, we brought the dragon dagger. I haven't used this thing in so long but that's because shields just isn't really mandatory nowadays. So let's go. Uh, it's alright, it's hitting, it's hitting. Ah, uh, alright. You know, we'll we'll see some big hits for sure, man. I, I definitely want to see what we're capable of nowadays. Yo, what's up, Mr. Cup? Oh, there we go, big spec. 43-42, alright. That's the best spec I've seen so far. With a DDS boy over here. After using the Dragon Dagger for a bit, I realized I missed a lot with the DDS, so I tried the Abyssal Dagger. So the Abyssal Dagger has two specs, but it's more accurate and hits harder than the DDS. So I thought maybe that might be better. You know, the uh, power and accuracy offset the uh, less frequent specs. And I tried it, and honestly, it just didn't really feel much better. It was like about the same. So yeah, uh, I would say probably not worth it here. How should I get money? Uh, I mean, if you're- Oh, dude! Yo, we just got a first superior. I saw on Reddit some dude with max gear. It took like- It took him two minutes, three minutes to kill this guy. 
Oh man, this guy actually does take forever to kill. Yeah, oh man, that was so slow. Jeez. But I did get a lot of drops here. Anity, legs, rune helmet. Dang it. Okay, someone said the SGS didn't hit. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bro, the SGS is literally donking these guys, man. Yeah. Alright, definitely stick with the SGS for sure. Uh, mid trip when I lose aggro. The spec is so nice, man. Oh, there we go. Alright, it was worth the skip. Because I wanted to spend at least my first day, uh, you know, doing Basilisk to be something I do all day. So, 224 Basilisk. We combine it with a Slaughter Bracelet. That's probably like an extra 70 kills. So, we're talking like 300 Basilisk. Alright, man. 300 Basilisk. Pretty decent chance of getting the helmet. So... Alright, I'm gonna use the D-Mace, cause, uh, yeah, I haven't tested this one yet. Oh, 64, dude! Oh my god, 64 again! Okay, this is actually hella fun, dude. Alright, cool, cool. So, a lot of people are doing this grind, and they're probably wondering a few things that I probably have the answer to. What are the best weapons to use against Basilisk? Primary weapon-wise, Rapier and the Blade of Salder is best. If you don't have that, the Samarakian Hasta on Crush is second best. And also, what is the draw rate of the Basilisk Jaw? According to Oblivion and Solitary data once again, it's about 1 in 800 on task and 1 in 4,000 off task. You can trust them because, you know, they're always right with their data collection. And uh, finally, another one is probably spec weapons. What is the best spec weapon? Based on my kills, uh, throughout this video uh, the best black weapon overall is the dragon warhammer when they are aggroed and if they're not aggro i would say the seraphim and god's i'll explain more in a bit about that damn i just can't hit like i literally cannot miss with a warhammer dude i've done like probably over 10 warhammer specs what you can get long bones in the middle of the trip though, you can easily get like 7 peaches made at a time, no problem. Without even having to juggle, so. It's definitely working out for sure, I'm, I'm definitely gonna stay here longer because of the peaches. Honestly, I'm just like SGS specking for prayer points at this point. Not even for like, food, because bonus to peaches is easily sustaining my food. But yeah man, oh god, I love SGS though for sure. Once you are confident that you have the monsters here, Diagro, man. You can definitely milk the SGS spec, it's insanely good here. Highly recommend it. Especially in this spot. This spot has like a really good uh, Diagro zone, so. The SGS strategy requires really fast reaction because the Bassinus Lights react a lot quicker than most mobs. You only have one tick, which is 0.6 seconds, to switch from the Sarah God Sword to your shield. If you take any longer than that, then the Basilisk Knight will drain your stats all the way down to like 30. Do this with caution, it will take some practice. Because this man is so freaking lucky, dude. He's got like 30 uh, unique drop. Oh my god! Already? Yo! Oh my god! That was easy as fuck, guys. Let's go. Uh, hell yeah. Nice. I got lucky. Hell yeah, boys. In like 300 kills, I think. Yes, okay. I, I already have a grind completed. Wow, that's insane. Yes, finally, dude. An item that we actually got lucky on the past uh, two months. Oh my goodness, dude. Although, I, I'd be more than happy to stay here for, uh, you know, a few extra tasks, but looks like I don't have to, man. Looks like I don't have to. I can put in more time to spend killing moss giants and, uh, you know, get the crystal tool seed. So, we got from three items left, back down to two items left. So, yeah, man, we're getting we're getting closer. We're getting closer, man. Yeah, man. It only took about I think around 350 kills, cause uh, yeah, I did 400 kills today. Yeah, but it was it was fun, you know, nice and short, uh, grind. Okay, all right, just uh, make sure I uncheck it, and we're good. This is it. Meet your new best in slot melee helmet in the entire game. Oh my god! Damn, dude. Six strength bonus, man. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. The Nate's on face guard has six strength bonus, making it the best strength helmet in the entire game, beating out the Serpent by one. 
It also has no negative stats, prayer bonus, and a slightly better defense than the regular Nathan Slot. Compared to the Surf Helm, defensively, the Surf Helm is still a bit better, although the Surf Helm also has the poisoning ability. But for the most part, the face guard will be way more popular to use than the Surf Helm in most places. So this would be the setup I use to fight Corp with the face guard. And let me just pot up real quick so I can show you the max hit right here. I should be able to hit a 43. So before I could only hit a 43 with Ferocious Gloves and regular Nathan Slot, but now I can actually hit a 43 with Barrel's Gloves. And the perk of that is the magic defense. I get an extra six magic defense, it's super important. Now, if I wanna get a new max hit, I would actually need to wear Ferocious Gloves and the Torture. This is the only way to hit the 44 because, for example, if I put on a Fury, it will not let me. And uh, see, the reason why I really want to Fury is because look at that magic defense, dude. It's huge. The Torture just does not have that magic defense. So this might be an issue. Achieving the 44 is going to sacrifice a lot of magic defense. Oh, the 44! Yeah, baby. I'm feeling the power, man. Nice, dude. We're trading about 20 magic defense for an extra max hit, so... Oh, cannonballs! Yo! Okay, well, there's the perks of testing the new helmet. Is that I got cannonballs for Moss Giant, so... After trying the setup using a torture to reach the max hit of 44, and also just trying the regular setup where I just gained additional magic defense with Barrel's Gloves, I definitely found the defensive setup to be better. So unfortunately, I won't be able to gain a max hit, but I will be gaining some more magic defense though with a new face guard indirectly because of Barrel's Gloves. So the face guard has slightly improved the court method. I was hoping for a bit more, but that's okay. The face guard is going to be super helpful at boss chance because now I have an additional 3 strength bonus to help me upkeep my max hits more. Because I'm using a dragon battle axe, my strength levels will gradually go down over time. But yes, having that 3 extra strength bonus from the face guard is going to help me upkeep my max hit of around 46 to 47 for a bit longer. Which will result in better average kills per hour at boss chance. So this helmet is a nice motivator as I know for a fact that my Moss Giant kills are going to go by a bit faster. Literally the first kill of this trip, dude. You're going to put it on? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Welcome to the freaking ornament kit club. Nice. Steel bars, please. Steel bars. Steel. Oh, what? Someone got the pet. <laughs> Damn, dude. The second pet I've seen. Wow. That was that's so early. First game today. Oh my god, another crystal tool seed. Oh man, someone else got it though. Wow, oh, damn, that's the fifth one that I just uh, have seen so far. And it's almost the draw rate. Damn, boys, we just uh, missed out. What? Oh my lord, this guy just got his crystal tool seed in 16 KC. Whew, you know, slightly salty, slightly. Oh shit, I just hit 750 KC, so we're pretty much uh, on the rate, and we're gonna definitely pass the rate. But yeah, man, it, here it is, 750, man. Actually crazy. Oh, wow, dude, that shit gave me some shivers, bro, when I saw that. Second ever Onyx, bro, I've seen. Anyways, I just hit freaking quadruple digits. Wow, where's my crystal tool seed? Anyways, yeah, I just hit four, four uh, digits. That's actually insane. It's gonna feel so good. Yeah, just like all these other grinds that uh, that I've been really struggling, you know, to finish recently. But it won't be as good as getting the nature staff finally. But man, I cannot wait to actually get this crystal tool seed, dude. Oh man. Oh my God, crystal tool seed. Dang it! Oh, that's the sixth one that I just saw. Wow, that's insane, bro. Number six. Oh, okay. Well, congrats to that guy. I, I, I need to get another one. I need to get my own, man. Where, when, when is they coming, boys? Shit. 
With the face guard obtained, I do have the strongest melee setup in the entire game. So with this setup, I would like to show you guys some of the current max hits with specific weapons in a normal environment. You know, no Slayer Helm, no Salve, or whatever. Stuff like the DDS, I believe, gained an extra uh, potential max hit. I believe it's 47, 47. So yeah, man, enjoy some of these max hit showcases. After two plus months of coming back on here, you know, grinding for some of the newer items, we got lucky on one of them, so that's really nice. All that's left is the Crystal Tool Seat and of course the goddamn Nature Staff, which I'm over five times dry on. But hopefully we can get that done. I can't wait for that, seriously. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you won't miss a single video from this channel, including of course Mr. Iron Bar Progress. And as usual, my friend chat's always open under the name Mr. Iron Bar, so if you need a place to hang out, ask questions, definitely consider joining that as well. Also, if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream on Twitch as well, showcasing the progress of my characters about six days a week and at around 5 p.m. Eastern. So definitely do visit if you're interested. Anyways, I will see you guys later though. Have a good rest of your day. See you guys very soon. Bye-bye.